What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I'm Chris. That's Mike. I almost said the reverse. What's going on, Mike? <laughs> What's up, man? We had the Walking Dead finale. That's right. Episode um, 16. Wrath. Yes. The wrath, the wrath, wrath. Mike, tell me. Let's let's do it this way. We're going to do the what we what we loved the, the most and what we hated the most and loved yes. the most. And, but what did you overall, what did you think? Let's just get that out of the way. I enjoyed the episode. I think it was probably my f- f- most favorite of of the, uh, the of season. the season. Yeah. Um, you know, listen, it's it's. I'm just glad we weren't left off with some crazy cliffhanger. We didn't see what happened with Rick and Negan or anything like that. I'm just glad that uh, once and for all, now the all out war stuff um, is 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 finished. But I, I I liked it. I enjoyed the episode quite a bit. Right. Um. I. I'm I'm mixed. I'm mixed on it. Uh, there were some parts I did enjoy, and there were some parts that I just didn't. I didn't enjoy, and mm-hmm. um, you know, we just talked a bit off camera. And, you know, we were in agreement on a bunch of stuff, and there was some other stuff that you know I yeah. we disagree about. But yeah, yeah overall, look, oh, I I feel it was a it was a it was a bit rushed. I feel it was like one of the shorter finales we've had, and I don't think it was their best finale. So you know, um, it had it had some bright spots. And yeah. we'll go into that, um, but that's how I feel about it. You know, so why don't we do it this way? Let's just let's just talk about the not so bright spots, um, <laughs> the, the worst of let's it. Let's talk about the worst part. the The worst part of what we thought this episode held. Um, yeah. I'll let you go uh, first because <laughs> uh, you might go a little bit longer than yeah, I am, I might, right? Yeah, I might do a little. Listen, bit. I'm I'm gonna start start the the worst part of the episode for me is the Godfather esque. Um, scene at the oh, end. Oh, Daryl with uh, yeah, with Daryl and Maggie, and Jesus and Maggie, and Jesus. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, it just felt. I don't, I don't like, and I don't think it's necessarily going to happen. I don't think we're going to see a Maggie as the villain kind of thing. Obviously, she's very upset, but I told, I spoke, I said this to you. We both kind of mentioned it with the whole Jesus thing and how Jesus is sitting uh, opposite of Maggie at the desk there, and and they're talking about yeah, we'll we'll, we'll have to handle our business, whatever you know, whatever they said. And it's funny because moments before Jesus is walking with Morgan and trying to convince him that they don't need to kill everybody. To well, he did. This. He was successful in that. He spent the whole episode telling him, use this end, not this end. I know. But the point is, is that right. Jesus you're being all right. Pass is fist, yeah. all on board with, with Maggie killing the killing of Negan or whatever, whatever, whatever their, their we don't look, yeah, we don't know what they're going to do, but, it, but is it, is it to kill? I mean, I don't think they're going to do anything against Rick, no, but their no, point it's... is, is like, we're going to show Rick. That was the whole point. And it's stupid. It's out of character for every one of those people. Exactly. Because exactly. first of all, where, do... and here what? we go. This is, this is part of the problem. This is why it was so rushed. Not once did you, did you show dismay from Jesus or Daryl about any dealing with Negan? Certainly not in this episode. Why is Daryl all of a sudden against Rick on how to deal with Negan? I mean, they had odds. Is that was that it? They were supposed it was tying back when they had that little tiff about no, what to do with about, the saviors. It's about what Negan did to he he kept Daryl in a cell. So, so look, they each all right, have so their they have they each have their own beef. That's the thing. So so whatever. We don't know what's going to happen with that. Let's not beat it to death. We'll you know we'll get into it at another time. But yeah, that was yeah. that was a dumb part. It was just dumb. Yeah, I just didn't like. It, it was, was just dumb. very, like you said, it's very out of character for them. And I didn't like how Jesus was just so quick to go along with it after he was speaking with Morgan about what what's right and what he should do and all this kind of stuff. Right. So, what are you going to do? Right. Yeah. Um, what else you got? You got anything? Uh, I mean, listen, I I kind of was you know and i know you know how i feel about morgan it's just like it it seems like for the longest time his character was there's not much else they can do with him he's always been this character this flip-flopping he's been battling the demons inside what should he do um he should be alone and this and that they were really pushing it they were really (laughs) they they did a lot of hand over fist force feeding this episode yeah that was one of the ways like oh we're gonna get him out of here he's gotta leave he's gonna leave the henry stuff when yeah. when the the cap you know the captured saviors are coming back in into hilltop and yeah. he hits henry and I, I don't know i mean for the longest time 
I loved Morgan's character. We were always so excited. And I mentioned this before. We were just so excited when Morgan returned. And now it's like, all right, enough. So uh, th- that was that was definitely part of my worst. I mean, what else? We talked about Gabriel. Negan so so happens uh, to, to tell a, the, the, uh, the entire plan about what he's going to do. And then Gabriel, um, they forget to lock the door, I guess. And Gabriel can... This is what I'm saying, Mikey. This is this whole a little odd, even though they caught Gabriel. Yeah, the the thing, the whole thing is, it just it was was just it was so disorderly. Like his whole plan, I'm still confused about the plan. I mean, I guess Mm -hmm. it worked out the way they wanted, but then it didn't. Like I'm like, what are you talking about? They they're gonna have him go here, and he's gonna go there. Like initially, yeah, it was it was, and then everyone's like, it's so genius, it's so genius. Meanwhile, to me, in my through my eyes, it was like, okay, but everything you did would have ended up the way it was going to end up anyway. Number one. Number two, like you said, all these just dumb things they did, you know, as far as, as far as the way they executed things, having yeah. Oceanside come in when they did, but then never see them again. They saved the day, which by the way, you and I called episodes ago yeah. and then, but then th- nothing. <laughs> we can show the saviors at the end starting yeah. to work together, but we have nothing with Oceanside. Nothing. Instead, you're going to show a shot of Gabriel. Who yeah. cares? Well, you know, Who cares about that, that dude? They could have shown Gabriel stuff. They could have shown like they did with Tara back at... But they the, didn't. That's my know, point. But they, they, just... they could have also added another Exactly. Scene. You couldn't show, you couldn't show a, a one and a half Oceanside. minute scene of yeah. Rick and Oceanside shaking hands or Tara or Michonne or somebody. Yeah, I mean, you know, like it was just, it's just, and then the other, the other thing that the other issue I had was just, the you know, I, stuff? the what, the junkyard, Morgan, swapping out homes, I guess. Um, nah, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's I th- no, I thought that was more silly than anything else. Where he's, where he's like, go ahead, you can go back, and she's like, oh, okay, cool, call me in. By the way, he's like, all right, cool. She's like, let's go. He's like, no, <laughs> fine, whatever. No, what I'm talking about is I was not uh, the the whole, the whole fight. Uh, with yeah. Nick and Regan, Nick and Regan, whatever. <laughs> they, um, you have these are, you know, it's just like it's a, it was. It's the same situation when Simon fought Negan. Like really, yeah. like Simon's one of the biggest badasses ever been on the show, and he's just gonna go out like that. And then you have, you know, r- right away. It's just so elementary. It's rudimentary. I'm sorry, man. It's just rudimentary. These things that they do to get people to, you know, to fight. The, the fight was dumb. It wasn't. It was there was no passion in it? That was my problem. There was no passion in any of it. And yes, I have. I have a problem with how it turned out, where Rick slit, slits his throat, which I was like, oh, yeah, I love that. Well, I was like, that's for a awesome. Moment, I'm like, I'm like, that's great. They, they made a decision. I'm like, they made a decision. They made a decision. And then he just turns around and, and nonchalantly walks up, barely holding his side, walks up the hill and says, "He's alive. Go fix him." I'm yeah. like, what? You, dude, you didn't even look back. He's bleeding out. What do you mean he's alive? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I did. It, it was dumb. It was absolutely garbage to me. That was the. It was dumb. And then you have a speech. Whatever, man. At that point, I'm just like, you know what? I, I, whatever. It. It is yeah. what it is. I just. I. I just couldn't believe how they how they played that out. I did not enjoy that. It was like. Yeah. It, dude, it was just so hand fisted. It was like, here's everything, and they just threw it all at us all at once. It was too quick. It was just, it was, it was rudimentary writing. This is what happens, dude, when you look at the directors that they get. When you look at the writers, dude. If you look at the episode listings and 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 the yeah. and the the crew and the writing and the, they're all they're all. It's not the same person every time, man. They get no, new directors uh, in. They get new yeah. writers in, and it's like there is no cohesiveness to this yeah. show anymore. And that has been the problem this entire season. You know Listen, what I mean? Listen, dude, it's not, uh, it's not the battle of the bastards. That's for sure. You know what I mean? But there's no finesse, Mikey. They're just. I don't understand I don't, why I don't, they're. I understand. There's got to be something. You, I mean, you, you know, I, I man. Could, there's got to be something. Let I, there be. Give us something better than yeah. this. Anyway, whatever. That. I, I, I. Whatever. That. That's. Those are the bad things that I had with that. You want to talk about I, the good stuff? I enjoyed. A, there's a lot that I enjoyed. I mean, there's some things that you just mentioned that uh, you don't like that I actually did enjoy. Um, I did not mind the fight at all. I thought it was. Yeah. I mean, I. I liked the interaction because you know, 
it wasn't it wasn't really a huge fight. It was they were, right. Of, I mean, look, you think couple, about it. A couple blows. They were tired, right? They've been. It's the end of the long of a very long period for them. Yes, I understand. But it's that. not even that. that. It, it's just. I mean, you said that there was. You didn't feel that there was any kind of emotion. I mean, I thought it was all emotion. We got emotion out of these characters that we never seen before. We see Negan, who's pretty much brought to tears, um, or about, you know, and and you see Rick in in a in a. On, on the ground, barely able able to make it up, stand up, and his eyes, and just he wanted to finish it, but in that moment and in that slicing, he made his choice. Rick wasn't sure exactly what he was going to do at that moment, and he made his decision, and I think that was I thought that was great. I really did. I um, mean, like I said, that I I enjoyed that decision. That was a very good decision. Like, yeah, but just the scene itself, and then with Maggie, I just I fell for her because as soon as that all happened, I thought to myself, "Wow, was it was this should should Negan be the guy that starts the example of of what Carl wants for this world? Should should they have killed Negan regardless of?" of um how carl felt things should be run or or the world should grow yeah because just seeing maggie in that in that position and then they pan to a, they pan to daryl and and they pan to eugene and rosita and how everybody was reacting to the fact that rick is now like you know stitch this guy up Man. so i mean i listen i enjoyed that stuff i do agree on some cases the back end was about- fine like i i like you said the maggie stuff was cool you know um, I, I was thinking like, I, I was thinking before, right before he's like, oh, he's alive, go get him was yeah. like, I'm like, well, you know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And then he's alive. And mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I wanted him to stay alive. All right. Let that, let, that's on record. I've said that already. I wanted him because I want, I want what happens in the comic to come to fruition because I enjoyed that story in the comic. So yeah. I wanted him to stay alive. I wanted him to be a part of what's coming next. I, well, I like that because he's a, he's a good character. Now, you know, so I'm like, so I was, I resolved myself. I'm like, that's cool. And then yeah. Maggie flipped out and that whole thing. And and I thought that was cool. I, again, the speech was whatever, mm-hmm. but you know. I mean, I, I liked, I liked the speech again. I liked at yeah. the end where we start seeing everybody come together, how we start seeing. Well, no, no, hold on now. See, now, now you're getting into a little bit. Now, further on is when, is, is I enjoyed further on. I enjoyed seeing them putting things back together and, and yeah, starting and, and to mend. There's, and, yeah, there's obviously some time that's that's even going on because we even saw some vegetables and stuff at <clears throat> um, the junkyard with with um, right. Morgan by himself, and you see some plants being grown and crops being. Grown. I like the fact of of everyone coming together for a change instead of all um, all the fighting. Um, well, that's the whole point. I mean that that's that that's the that's the 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 concept that they were trying to beat yeah. home was this is what we need to do. And that's fine because it is because mm-hmm. whatever. Um, so let's, let's move past. Let's let's actually, let's rewind. Let's go back to the opening because I know you and I really enjoyed, yeah. excuse me, had a chili cheese dog. Uh, I know we, we really enjoyed um, the beginning when Sadiq was talking to Rick and, and, and describing the whole thing that happened, you know, when Rick says, I need to know what happened, you know, and he mm-hmm. tells him it, that was a very cool scene. You know, I, I definitely enjoyed that, um, as an opening, uh, well, the, whole, the whole opening itself. I, I mean, even little Carl, you know, with him and, um, the, the jokes between Ezekiel and Jerry was, was, was interesting. Mm-hmm. And when we spoke also about the Morgan and Rick interaction there, yeah, when um, he says he says we're worse yeah. than we were when we started, that was probably one of the best lines. Definitely the best lines of the season, maybe yeah. even of whatever. And that was a great line, you know. It was it was kind of it was a long opening too, you know, before the before the the opening yeah. credits and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was, you know, I mean, let's get into Eugene because I know that a lot of people were yeah. You know, the, the poor guy couldn't even go on Twitter and, and anything anymore. All social media is because everybody was just like so on top of this guy. And do you threatening think him and do you think they that they so do you think that he had that arc or they did that? They did that because. No, they 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 even they mentioned it on Talking Dead that that was his plan from the beginning from okay, when yeah, okay. Negan captures him initially in. Uh, I mean, well, we said that a while ago when he got captured. Yeah, we said that on this yeah. show. We said no, he's uh, probably going to try and sabotage and whatever. It, it was a couple. It was a couple. Um, there was there was some moments there where, 
I mean, we we've we've said it. How wow is there ever any is there ever coming back from Eugene's right, character? Yeah. Can they ever? Yeah. And th- shit, he pretty much single handedly won the the survivors. Well, he award. look according to Negan's plan, it was that they were going to ambush them on top of the hill and they were going to kill them all. And you know what? They probably yeah. would have because they did. They mm-hmm. shot those guns mm-hmm. and those things happened. And you're right. So yeah, he did yeah. save the day. It, that it, was it, cool. It, I enjoyed you know, that. That was a very cool part. The ocean side stuff I enjoyed. You I, know? Yeah, like you know, like half <clears throat> and half. I said, I said it was good to see them pop in, but I would have liked to see them at the end as well. You know. Yeah, you know, just for them to swoop in. It was just there was a there was the, a big momentum shift. Uh, the way they were shooting shooting the, those scenes to where you get the Eugene stuff. Then Oceanside sneaks in. It was just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's we're winning kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. We're gonna win this, and that's what I liked about it. I mean, no. um, you know, even even this even the stuff with Dwight. Now, it was it was cool to for him to find the letter from Sherry in there in that in the in the home the the place where they they would meet up and stuff like that and and he sees the the note that Sherry left for him and the beers and the chips that he initially left. I forgot which season that was, but was the last season. Um, yeah, uh, it was cool for even though I was. Um, I mean, Daryl's Daryl's been annoying me, but for him to just be like, "All right, get out of here!" If I ever see you again, if I ever see you again, go find her. Yeah, go find okay, her. Okay, so, but yeah, exactly. I, I like, mean, what do you? Why do you? But he's gonna come back. Let him come back. Like, I I want him to come yeah. back and and run the saviors. That's yeah. what I want. I want him to come back and run the saviors. And what if he would have said that? You know what I mean? What if he said, "Well, uh, I'm gonna go to the sanctuary," or, you know? So it was a. I mean. That scene was was a bit odd. I don't like where da- Daryl's character really was at all, especially at the end. This whole but, season, yeah, like we really. said. Yeah, but um, you know, it's, it's cool for some a little bit of payoff for Dwight. Dwight actually had a couple shots in on Negan. Uh, uh, Gabriel had a you know had a shot in on Negan, so they kind of got a little bit of uh, some punches back from that. But listen, overall, I'm glad that the the main thing is I'm glad that we were we finished this all out war arc. Um, yeah, it it definitely had to end. I I do I will say I did enjoy, I enjoyed the scene with Negan and Michonne and Rick. Although it was a little again, <laughs> there's no finesse, man. There's mm. no finesse. You're gonna do this, and you're gonna see this, and you're gonna do that, and you're gonna do this. And Rick's behind there, basically the hype man, going, "Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah." <laughs> You tell him, yo, like that was basically his job, you know, and, um, you know, so I got a kick out of it, but I did mm. enjoy and I loved when she grabbed his fucking throat and and yeah. like Sadiq was like, no, you're going to. She's like, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. I enjoyed that. Like, yes, you. That was a bit of satisfaction because that's mm-hmm. what he deserves. He deserves yeah. it. You deserve to get your your throat almost ripped out again because you're an asshole. Like, and I oh. love that. And I, and I love that Michonne did it because. Michonne has turned out she's look she's a she's a wonderful character she's played wonderfully mm-hmm. all right and it's just but yeah give her that give her that ang- like give her that you know that bit of rage like that's just that's a great character and it was played well so anyway so that scene was yeah. fun it was fun for me I enjoyed that scene yeah. but again no no real finesse in any of this and yeah look again for me let's start wrapping this up but for me it wasn't the it wasn't the best finale. I like I agree with you. I'm I'm happy that All Out War is now done. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as let's talk future. All right. So Gimple has said that you know, yeah, obviously there's going to be a time shift. You know, that's why they're wrapping this up. It's wrapped up. And you know what? Uh, you should, uh, yeah, I'm glad it's done. So let's move forward. I don't think the time shift is going to be as long as it's going to as it was in the comic. Um, you know, there there are some things to be said not in this video, but about. Uh, you know, Maggie, you know, uh, Lauren Cohan's character and, and the whole mess behind her not getting paid and all this yeah. stuff like that. That's a whole separate thing that we can get into at a different time. But, you know, we don't know if she's going to be back. We don't know what Maggie is intending or what they intend for Maggie. We don't know where that's going to go, but she's not even showing Mike. They're not even showing her pregnant. I not know, even a little bit, man. It's still it's it's such a small it's, amount of it's, time has but passed mikey even that. even like it's been it's been at least two months it, and, you know what i'm months, saying like you'd two still months, show you're, not, you're still uh, yes mikey trust me i have two kids you're gonna show it depends you're gonna you're gonna the, you're gonna depends. you're gonna show especially a thin woman like that you're gonna show but they just haven't done anything and i and i have to wonder if that's for reasons you know dealing with what's happening outside the show anyway yeah. 
you know, but like I said, th there's going to be that time jump. There's going to be the thing. Um, yeah, man, look, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm excited for where it's going to go. Look what they, look, you know, not to get into fear a lot, but just, just look what they've done with fear. And mm -hmm. they took that leap. They took the leap. Let's, let's completely change it. And they did it. And so this could really give. It's like a restart. This, it's a reboot. This season nine, it's, 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 it, they definitely need this reboot. And let's just, you know, let's see some other characters. I don't care. Let's see. I'd love to see more of the kingdom. I'd love to see more of Jerry. I'd love to see more of Dwight. And his wife come back, and I want to see Michonne, yeah. of course. And you know, let's 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 hope that you know season nine will definitely be a good a good thing for this show because it saddens me that I have to feel these negative feelings about the show that I absolutely loved. I mean, yeah, you know, before this show, I used to do my own YouTube show about this. You know, back in season three and four, like I was. That's how much I love this show. You know, yeah. Um, I mean, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Maybe you guys agree, disagree uh, along with us. Um, right sorry, sorry again, guys. I just, you know, yes. Mike, Mike, you know, I was telling Mike, maybe I won't go so hard. He's like, no, nah, man, do it. Go hard. Do, <laughs> do what you feel. And, and that's how I feel. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to yeah. make excuses for the way I feel because this is a show that I like. I still love the show, but they just mm -hmm. need to do better. They need to do better. Nothing wrong with that, man. Speak the truth. You, you know? know, I mean, th why the hell are we watching this if I'm not going to, exactly. you know, why do this exactly. show if I don't care about it? You know what I mean? Well, let us let us know again. Let us know what you guys think. Let's wrap it up right in the comments there. Of course, at Third Person Pod on YouTube, you're watching uh, Third Person Pod on Instagram and on Facebook. And don't forget to check us out on iTunes as well. Yep. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for sticking with us for season eight. We've, we've yes. like, like Mike said, you know, we, we've appreciated all of the comments and all of the support throughout this whole Walking Dead season. We're excited for what's coming forward. We've got Westworld. We've got uh, Into the Badlands and yes, some other some that. other stuff probably going on. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you again. The Walking Dead is done. We'll see you on Season 9 for The Walking Dead. Guys, we love you. We'll see you then. Peace out. Peace.